This is a series of videos where I talk about stuff that I love, and this is one of them. His and Her Circumstances, an anime TV series from the late 90s, directed by the legendary Hideaki Anno, uh, well known for his weird, psychological, trippy anime series, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, whereas this is a high school romantic comedy. And boy, is this an interesting show. Uh, boy, is this... So, you know how sometimes you watch a show and, like, it's, it's a really good comedy? Like, it's, it's a really, you know, it does everything a comedy should do. Sometimes you watch an action series and it's got all the action you want. Sometimes, you know, drama and it's got all the drama you want. And then, this is something that anime seems to do a lot. You'll watch a show that kind of does all of that. Like, there's drama and romance and comedy and just everything all in the same show. And it all seems to fire on all cylinders. And that for me, is his, is his and her circumstances. It is about this young woman named uh, Yukino Miyazawa, you see there in the center, who is the princess of her high school. She's perfect. Everyone loves her. Um, no problems, no issues. Um, um, the complexity being the fact that things are not all as they appear in her personal life. She's actually um, very much constructed this persona of hers to be her... Um, to, to look good for everyone. And she is good in getting good grades. She is helpful. She is being all the things she should be because that's who, that's what she does to get approval and to be liked. Um, and so very early on in this show, it deals with this question of, this is what she, how she wants to feel. She wants to feel loved. She wants to feel, you know, emotion. Um, and yes, this is the thing. This is this is what the show is like a lot. Um, you'll notice as I'm skimming through here, you'll see a lot of different art styles. And that is very intentional. This show is many different things all at once. It is having a lot of fun with anime as a medium very, very intentionally. Um, and it explores the fact that Yukino is doing all the right things, not for the right reasons. Um, she's doing it for external validation, and fundamentally, that external validation does not bring her the satisfaction that she thinks it will. And then she meets this young man, um, Arima, Arima, who is another student uh, who transfers into her class. He's not from another school, uh, but he's he, he you know classes switched around, and he's now in her class, and um, he's actually doing better than she is. In fact, I think, uh, hopefully I can find a little uh, image here of how Yukino thinks about this. Um, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> so Yukino's a view. And this is what Yukino is like at home. She's uh, very much a kind of a slob and a, and a relaxed person. And this is all uh, episode one stuff, just to be clear. I'm not spoiling anything. Um, and Yukino has this interesting sort of internal dilemma and then has to explore that and does that in the context of school. As a result, um, his and her becomes this um, school life story. And often when we hear that, we think um, harem romance. And that's not what his and her circumstance um, is. Instead, it's a relational series. It's very much shoujo, but it is about multiple um, characters and their relationships with each other. Um, the relationships tend to be um, um, pretty much one-on-one. -on -one. Like, like, there are no love triangles here, really. In fact, none at all that I can think of. Well, there is one, sh briefly, relatively briefly. Um, but these are characters exploring what it's like to, um, to have relationships in school, and especially since most of these characters have not had relationships up to this point. Um, and it is explored with great gusto and energy and fun. Um, where you'll get just these wonderful quiet moments between the characters uh, where they're just kind of exploring things and then just some wonderful wild comedy uh, as they're, they're playing around with, um, um, with what they're going to do after school. Um, his and her circumstances will turn on a dime. It will just jump from comedy to drama to romance, but it never feels unnatural. It never feels um, too quick. Um, it feels like it is... It is, it is it is respecting you in the sense that it assumes you can follow along. Like, you are not so dumb that you need to wait through a long sequence of transition to go from a romantic scene to a comedy scene. They can kind of jump and you can, you can follow along. And I had no problem doing this. I think it did a really good job. 
And what amazes me about his and her is how much how well this works. Like how much I identified with Yukino and Ariman, much of the other characters, even though they are nothing like me. Um, you know, I was not a Japanese high school student. I didn't face the same pressures. I didn't do the same things they did. But they managed to make you understand those characters um, at a very deep level, despite being only a 26-episode anime series. Um, and there are quite a few characters. You get to know quite a, quite a lot about them. Um, and it's just, again, it's just kind of everything. You get it all, all in one show. Um, beautifully animated, beautifully drawn, with just a great respect for the medium um, and a great exploration of the medium, where just you can have wacky, crazy things happening. It, it will sometimes switch to manga. It is great. Um, it's very odd. It's, it's, it's very unusual, and that is its strength, is that this is in some ways peak anime. This is an anime series that is using all of the tools of anime to tell its story, to get you involved with the characters, to make you, um, you know, just sucked in and make you laugh, make you cry. Um, there are moments in his and her circumstances that I can remember very, very vividly, despite having watched it many, many years ago. Um, it's a lovely, lovely series. Um, and so much of the time when I'm recommending things, I'm recommending things because of, let me go back a little bit. Um, I'm re recommending things because I say, you know, if you're an action fan, this has this kind of action or this kind of mecha or whatever. <clears throat> His and her, I recommend almost unreservedly. Now, obviously, it's a relational show. Um, it's more about, you know, characters interacting. There are no giant space battles. There's none of that stuff. Um, but I think this is the kind of show that pretty much, that has the potential to uh, work for pretty much anybody. Again, it might not work for you, that's fine. But it's really, really lovely. Um, so yeah, His and Her Circumstances, aka Karekano no Kanojo, I believe, uh, or Karekano, is, as it's popularly known uh, for the manga and the anime. Both manga and anime are available. Uh, the anime was originally re uh, licensed and released by The Right Stuff some years ago. Um, you should probably be able to find copies of it on eBay and such. Um, and otherwise, it is around. So um, it, it's a classic. Um, it was a very well-respected manga when it was adapted into anime. And then the anime has been considered to be a uh, sort of a, um, uh, a very impressive work of animation in and of itself. So that is His and Her Circumstances. And I hope you found it as much fun and enjoyable and honestly as touching as I did.